The fifth installment of the popular Bourne franchise has a new release date. The film will now open in AMC theaters on July 29th, 2016. Matt Damon returns to his most iconic role as Jason Bourne for the fourth time. Acclaimed director Paul Greengrass, who directed The Bourne Legacy, The Bourne Ultimatum, and Captain Phillips, also returns for this much-anticipated chapter. Frank Marshall also returns to produce. Schnepp, is this a good date for the film, and are you still feeling good about Damon returning to Bourne? Yeah, I mean, I've said before, I'm very happy to see that, um, that Damon and Greengrass came back. Damon was like, unless you bring Greengrass, you don't get me. So I think they made a great team on the, on those, the second one and the third one. I, like, I didn't hate the fourth one with Jeremy Renner. I hope they somehow are still able to weave him into the, you know, the Bourne thing. He, didn't get, he got jacked. I can't even remember what his name was. It was like, <laughs> you're part of the Bourne legacy, dude. Whatever. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you're still all Bourne. You know, there's still pictures of Bourne in that movie. I'm like not Matt Bourne. I'm, I'm my yeah. own man. You're a Bourne. Come yeah. on. <laughs> like, all the, 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 they were all like, we still don't know where Bourne is, but who's this guy? You know, that's what that fourth one felt like. So they're going back to actually Bourne. He's going to, like, appear out of the, I didn't drown, you know, whatever. And uh, we'll get a, another awesome spy movie. So I, I buy, and I buy the date too. They're like locking it down. They're saying we're filming it here. You know, Mark. I think it's one of the few films that I don't really care when it comes out because the Bourne movies to me have always never been like summertime popcorn fair necessarily. It's not Oscar bait. Mm. It can literally come out any time during the year, and I'm excited. I'm really pumped for this movie. I don't know who the villain's going to be or who he's going to be. Is he going against the government again? Is are him and Joan Allen going to have a lot of tense phone calls? Again, <laughs> or is it, is it going to be a situation where he is going against somebody else who is involved in the Treadstone Project, like Jeremy Renner? Right. I always thought that Matt Damon was not a fan of that film, and so he didn't want anybody associated with that to be in it, or, or, or what the deal is if he doesn't want to be going against somebody else who's like him. But as far as the release date goes, this thing can come out anytime, and I'd be excited for that it. That would be a great subtitle for the film. <laughs> <laughs> Born. <laughs> Tense phone calls. Yeah, um, so. I... I'm all for it. I think this is, look, I'm getting more and more excited about Matt Damon returning. I've always wanted him to return. It did create some awkwardness because they said they had plans to move him forward with the Jeremy Renner thing. Suddenly Matt Damon says, all right, I'll come back. <laughs> Sorry, Renner. But I think it behooves him at some point to cross these guys over because, like I said, I agree with you. I didn't think Jeremy Renner's Born was all that bad. Was it as good as the Matt Damon Bourne films? No. And so therefore, since it's not as good as those, everybody just automatically thinks, well, that means it wasn't good. No, I think it was still good. I think it was a good film. I enjoyed it. I was entertained by it. Not in the same league as the other one. But it does open up some really interesting possibilities for crossovers. We talked about that before. I do like that they're going with a summer release date for it. Uh, and look, it's in 2016. It's like 16 months away now. They got to start they got to start shooting real fast. They got to start right. rolling this pretty, pretty soon. They got to get moving. So, but for me, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Hey, everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.